We are addicted to meaning, my friends, because without any meaning, what are we? And you've said it. Nothing. Can you stand nothing? Can you stand being nothing? Can we stand the nothingness? If so, we are pure. If not, we are not pure. And that's okay. Then we know more clearly what it is we are holding on to and the fears we have and the distortions we have, the reasons why we're holding on to it. And they're understandable fears. There's nothing wrong with them. They're not inherently wrong, but they are distortions. They are impurities in this way of thinking about it anyway. So it gives us opportunity to become nothing, which equals purity. If you're willing to be nothing, then you're ready for service to others. You're ready for shepherding consciousness and beyond. And you're ready for true direct contact with God, meaningful, blissful, true, genuine, direct contact with Source. But if you cannot stand the nothingness, then you cannot stand God. And then your life will consist of continuing to be a sequence of arguments against the Creator, posing as the filler material and the excitement of your personal life. Sounds a little radical and harsh, but it's just in this analogy. It's somewhat accurate, but useful as an analogy for some of you. We are addicted to meaning, my friends, because without any meaning, what are we? And you've said it, nothing. Can you stand nothing? Can you stand being nothing? We often talk about standing in the fire of truth and purification, but really it's about standing in the nothing of truth, in the nothing of purification. That is the quote unquote purifying fire. That is what distinguishes those who are genuinely ready for direct contact with God and for actual selfless service to others. Anything before that is just fancy and fashion. Now, fancy and fashion can pose, can use the name of the Creator in vain. But there will come a point in your journey, in all of your journeys, where you have to face the nothingness, the emptiness. And that is the test to see if you're willing to truly surrender your sense of personal existence made up of a bunch of constructs that are unreal. I can just disclose this right away. Spoiler, spoiler alert, as they say in the movie industry. It's a spoiler alert. Everything you hold on to is not real. It's fiction, it's fancy and fashion, fiction, fancy and fashion. And yet we're addicted to it because it gives us an illusory sense of personal independent existence. And we're so willing to die for that. The willingness to stand the nothingness is the final step before genuine God communion occurs. It happens in that nothingness for most exciting or daunting, however you define it, whatever you're ready for, whatever you truly desire. 